Hi, I'm David Reeves. We're here in beautiful South Africa, just on the outskirts of Johannesburg at the Lion and Safari Park. We have been looking at magnificent wildlife all week long, but we're about to go in and check out possibly some cheetahs and giraffes and see what these magnificent creatures are up to. Let's go take a look. What stands up to 19 feet tall, weighs 3,000 pounds, has gangly legs, and an 18-inch long tongue? Well, <laughs> there's only one animal living today that fits that bill, and that's the stately giraffe. One of the really neat things about the giraffe's neck is that when it leans down to take a drink of water, you would think that all the blood would run to its head. They would pass out, you would say, but they have a 25-pound heart with over twice the blood pressure of humans but they don't pass out or receive too much blood pressure. You see, the giraffe's neck has reinforced blood vessels and valves that restrict the blood flow when their heads are down. Have you ever gotten dizzy when you stood up too quickly? So why don't giraffes get dizzy and fall over when they lift their heads quickly up to 19 feet? Well, it seems that they have something similar to a sponge in their heads that releases just the right amount of blood to the brain until their blood pressure equalizes. It's pretty amazing. Now let's talk about their legs. When walking, giraffes alternatively move both right legs and then both left legs. When running, their back legs reach past the front legs before they move forward, and they kick those powerful legs when fighting off predators, so successfully that they can fight off pretty much anything except lions. They can live up to 25 years in the wild. We've talked about the control of blood pressure in the giraffe's head, but why doesn't blood pool in their legs? Well, it seems that the special strong and tight skin in their legs prevents that. How special is it? Scientists have studied the skin of the giraffe's legs when designing flight suits for fighter pilots and astronauts. Just like me, people have been fascinated with giraffes for thousands of years. Did you know the Egyptians actually kept them as pets and they gave them their own hieroglyph? Now, throughout Africa, they're depicted in art, including petroglyphs, pictures carved into rocks. The same is true for Greece and in Rome. Now, how could anyone overlook the stately giraffe? Amazing creatures with unique features that can teach us a lot about life itself. The biblical book of Genesis, which seems to be written as a historical narrative, mentions a creator who made all plants and animals and also created mankind with the ability to appreciate, study, and help and protect and conserve the things that we find in nature. I'm David Reeves in South Africa. Like what you're seeing? Want more? Be sure to hit the subscribe button to be notified as soon as we put up new videos and content.